Hey, what's up guys? Mario back again with another YouTube video. Guys, today I'm gonna make a really, really important video. Um, I'm sure you guys are aware, um, today a lot of brokers like Robinhood, not just Robinhood by, by the way, but there was Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, Interactive Brokers, and Charles Schwab. Many, many brokers uh, got together and they literally stopped allowing uh, traders, small retail traders like me and you, to buy GME stock or GameStop stock and uh, AMC stock, uh, which in my opinion is totally wrong at so many levels, so on free markets, anti-free markets, uh, it's just totally wrong. Um, and um, there are gonna be a lot of lawsuits, uh, but what should you do as a small trader? Um, to me, for one thing, I will not be using Robinhood. It's obvious that Robinhood's main clients is not you, it's not me, it is Citadel. Pretty much Robinhood's the way they make their money is it pretty much uh, sell your order flow, the trades that you make, me and you, they sell to Citadel. Uh, so because Citadel could use high frequency trading and make money off your trades. Pretty much that is it, that is the truth. Uh, so, and honestly, it was proven today who really are their main clients. It is not you, it is not me, it's Citadel. So forget Robinhood. I'm going to talk about what awesome alternative brokers uh, to look into, but not just brokers, but what alternative markets out there. Uh, today was proven to me that the overall market uh, is definitely not in the advantage of the small player like me and you, the retail investors. Uh, it's definitely, there's a lot of um, secrecy behind it. And there are people who are able to manipulate it for their benefit and not for ours. And it was proven today. So my recommendation uh, that I'm gonna go over today, uh, I'm gonna talk about actually cryptos, specifically Bitcoin guys, specifically Bitcoin. Um, and again, guys, I'm gonna go over some of the brokers today. Uh, again, these, these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes, guys. Always remember that. Uh, now, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel down below. I'm gonna go over why is it important to, to look into the cryptos? I'm also actually going to go over a, a stock that I want to trade uh, that I actually invested that is a, uh, a, a, big, a Bitcoin miner or crypto miner, uh, and it's actually moving today. And I'm going to talk about how what happened today could actually push a lot of retail traders in the stock market to get into the crypto markets. Uh, and there's many, many reasons why, okay? So like I said, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel down below. Let me share my screen and let's get started. All right, so pretty much what happened guys? Um, as you guys can see AMC, uh, let me see, let me show it really quick. AMC and, um, and uh, GME or GameStop stock literally been selling today. Look at that sell off. Why, you mass? Well, because they didn't allow nobody to buy it anymore. You know, simple as that. I mean, that is just so wrong at so many levels uh, because people were not able to buy anymore. Of course, the only thing they allow you to do now is to sell it. Now, I do apologize. My internet is a little bit slow today, so uh, bear with me. So there was, it was definitely some squeeze moving ha happening yesterday. Today in the morning, of course, Robinhood, other brokers literally joined together to stop the squeeze because there was hedge funds getting blown out. Uh, the big guys were crying foul, a uh, bunch of wimps in my, in, my, in my opinion, and they literally had to group together and literally, literally did not allow people to buy AMC and GameStop. I mean, if I were, this is so messed up. It's almost like unbelievable that they even were allowed to do that. Again, like I said, there's going to be a lot of lawsuits about this. Uh, you know, I actually had some, uh, I did took profits on AMC yesterday. I actually had some shares on AMC to, uh, today. But after I saw the announcement, it just kept selling. And I literally had to get out because literally you couldn't buy no more. Nobody could buy no more. They only allow you to sell. And so if you think about it, all the hedge fund traders who were short, they pretty much just made some of their money back. They were able to allow to short and sell. And again, since nobody was buying, everything just went down and they covered. So literally from $20 to like $8.63. So go figure. I mean, it's so messed up that it was this it was even even allowed. I don't even know how this is, was even legal. I don't even know how regulars or SEC is not even going to step into it and figure this something out, but something that's definitely going to happen. This is what I think is going to happen. In my opinion, guys, in my opinion, 
This is what's going to motivate and inspire a lot of retail traders, a lot of small time traders to get into the crypto markets. The crypto markets, the whole reason why they exist is because of the centralized. No one person can control them. Nobody can say, hey, I'm going to I'm losing money on this position. Uh, hey, I'm not allowing you to buy no more uh, you know, Bitcoin because I'm losing on my short. So screw you. I'm going to uh, only allow for you to sell so you can't get out. You know, you know, you can't be buying this position so you can go up. I mean, how wrong is that? Uh, and again, that's the reason why crypto markets are so, so important because it is decentralized. There's no government behind it. It's just a bunch of networks all over the world. Every single person able to buy and sell. Uh, there's no central banks managing, monitoring interest rates, controlling the interest rates or buying assets or buying bonds to, to boost up certain uh, you know, stocks and things like that. It is definitely decentralized, okay? So that's the reason why it's so important to look into uh, Bitcoin. And again, in my opinion, this is going to allow, oh, this is going to be a catalyst, a motivator for a lot of retail traders to buy more into uh, Bitcoin. If you look today, Bitcoin is up 4%. I did um, hear some chatter on, online that a lot of these Reddit users were getting into Dogecoin now. Uh, so it looks like they're already looking into getting into crypto where they don't have to worry about, you know, brokers or big, the big suits, people big on top, top, people at the top taking advantage of the system and changing the rules last minute to benefit themselves. Now, this is the stock that I was talking about, Riot. Riot is a um, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency miner. So if you think about it, um, it does move with, uh, with Bitcoin. So I did buy it as a stock. Uh, I am not using Robinhood. I am using another broker, uh, Interactive Brokers. I am actually going to recommend another broker for, broker for the small time guys. Uh, Weeble, and I'm going to talk about it in a little bit uh, to kind of maybe if you don't, if you're not happy with Robinhood, hey, I'm not happy either. So, hey, Weeble is definitely a better alternative as a broker. I do use Interactive Brokers. I do use Fidelity, other brokers also good as well. So, again, uh, Riot did make a move today. And my long term uh, view on Bitcoin is that it's going to keep moving up. So, if Bitcoin continues to move up, I really think Riot is going to continue to move up. I did buy a small percentage of my portfolio in Riot because uh, I do believe I am bullish overall in Bitcoin and crypto. And if crypto continues to move, Bitcoin continues to move, Riot is going to move with it. Uh, so looking at Bitcoin, again, this is a Bitcoin. This is the, uh, the B B Bitcoin futures. Um, and it's trending. It's holding around the 30,000 level. Uh, so it's a possibility that after this level's hold and consolidation, it can make a move. Uh, so now the other thing that I want to mention, guys, is, uh, you know, where can you get Bitcoin? Um, so Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, Coinbase is a great broker that I highly recommend. They actually allow you for you to withdraw your Bitcoin and put it in a hard wallet. Uh, it looks like a USB drive. Uh, and it's kind of like cash. It's like literally like holding cash in your hand. Uh, so I highly recommend you to look into Coinbase. The great thing about Coinbase is they have an education program and they actually pay you to learn how to learn about cryptocurrency. Look, earn crypto. I've actually already done this myself. Uh, all it is, you take little courses and they literally give you cryptocurrency, like three, for example, $3 worth of new cipher cryptocurrency. Just by taking the course, answering some questions uh, about the stuff you learn. Very, very simple, guys. It's free money if you think about it. And again, the potential for this cryptocurrency to go up in the future, again, is like an investment. So highly, highly recommend. Again, there's a graph, $3 to learn about this graph. There's a brand portable, port, protocol, et cetera. There's so much stuff. So there's a lot. Look, look, it's $10 to learn about Stellar Lumens. I've actually taken a lot of these courses already, and I've actually already made a couple bucks, you know, just literally by learning more about crypto. There's so much to learn about crypto, guys. I know it is confusing. I was confused myself. Uh, um, you know, that's the reason why I made this video. But all the information is free, is free, guys. All information is here. And literally, Coinbase will pay you to learn about these cryptocurrencies. Uh, now, so the, the uh, crypto, uh, what's it called? Um, Coinbase has also another platform called Coinbase Pro. And pretty much, it, pretty much it allows you to trade, day trade, uh, or swing trade cryptocurrencies. Uh, one of the biggest hard, or hardest things about cryptocurrency, and, and let me uh, stop sharing the screen, is how do, how do, what's the proper way to invest in cryptocurrencies? 
because there's a lot of day traders and there's a lot of swing traders uh, who trade stocks. But when it comes to cryptocurrencies, it's a little bit more difficult. You know, I really believe the number one cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. Uh, and the reason why is Bitcoin because it's a, it's a closed system. Uh, it's pretty much engineer new monetary system. Uh, it's like the internet of money. A lot of hedge funds, a lot of big time investors invest in millions and millions of dollars in Bitcoin. And that's really the only stock they're looking at, uh, excuse me, the only crypto they're looking at to put this kind of money. And the reason why is because there literally is kind of like the gold 2.0. Uh, there's only going to be 21 million Bitcoins ever created. And there's this whole network around the world who tracks this Bitcoin, the mining, and also the tracks and transactions. And it's an open system. Anybody can look at it. Anybody can look at what wallets have bought and sold. And it's definitely monitored 24-7. So it's definitely a lot more uh, transparent than any central bank around the world. And it's very, very, very important. So that's the reason why I am big bullish in Bitcoin. There's a possibility in the future that um, we're all going to be using Bitcoin to buy stuff online. PayPal, Square have already invested money in Bitcoin. They already allowed it in their platforms to buy and sell Bitcoin in their platforms. PayPal and Square, legitimate companies. So this is not going anywhere, guys. Uh, so I wanted to quickly mention it. Now, in terms of how to buy or how to invest in Bitcoin, I'm a buy and hold type of person. I, I do not recommend day trading Bitcoin or swing trading Bitcoin, especially if you not know how it works. My recommendation as a Bitcoin investor and what I found what works is dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging, meaning that every single week or every biweekly, every, every time you get paid, you invest a small amount of money. It could be whatever you could afford. It could be $10. It could be 20 bucks. It could be $30. It could be 100, 200, $300 every single week. And this allows you to now worry about the price of Bitcoin because it is very, very volatile. So if the price of Bitcoin goes down, hey, if you buy every single week, you're going to buy those dips. If the price of Bitcoin goes up, hey, you're still going to buy a couple, a little bit of bucks here and there. So in terms of the overall, pretty much what that does averages out your, 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 uh, your price. Uh, and, and long as uh, over time, you know, five or 10 years, the price of Bitcoin keeps going up, which it has, you will be in the green, if that makes sense. The goal of cryptocurrency is to accumulate uh, for the long period. Again, in the future, this is definitely going to be a, a, a monetary system that I believe that we're all going to be able to use and that we all understand. So one and wanted to emphasize that, okay? Now, go back, going back to sharing my screen, Again, guys, dollar cost averaging. Uh, and again, this is pretty much, let's going to go over some of the news announcement. Robinhood restricts trading in GameStop and other names involving Frenzy. Uh, now, look at this article. After ban, after buy ban, GameStop, Hyperbeats are looking for a Robinhood alternative. Sorry about that, guys. So pretty much, uh, they are looking for another uh, platform. Honestly, uh, I think, in my humble opinion, I think, uh, cryptocurrencies are going to be one of the, the, the place that, that a lot of these retail investors are going to go into. Again, it's a decentralized system. They don't have to worry about Citadel or, or uh, Robinhood or all these brokers going against them and literally not allowing them to buy or sell, buy a, 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 a security just because they're losing money. You know, a lot of these, uh, you know, hedge funds were losing millions of dollars you know, and now that they were losing money, they decided to change the rule, change the game, you know, for their benefit. I mean, how wrong is that? Is this unbelievable? Uh, so now, Weeble. Talk about Weeble. This is another uh, uh, app that allows you to buy and sell stocks. Amazing thing about this app is right now is that it's going to give you four free stocks value up to 3700 3, if you open an account with $100 or more. This is free money, guys. Uh, so... For those of you guys who are looking for an alternative, Weeble is a great alternative. Again, you can get up to free, uh, four free stocks valued up to $3,300 uh, if you deposit $100 or more. Uh, so you can buy your stocks and, and things like that. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to cover that. Um, you know, Again, guys, these videos are for learning entertainment purposes. When it comes down to buying and selling stocks, I'm not a financial advisor. All of it is based on your decisions. Always remember that. And always remember risk management, guys. Don't do anything that you're not supposed to do. Don't invest money that you cannot lose. It's very, very important, guys. Everything has a risk. 
So hope you guys learned something from this video. Don't forget uh, to ask questions down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down to the channel down below. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.